Mission accomplished. Very good. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally looking for a Phonopilna hensi in the wild. I have talked about Mr. Dumpster Tarantula here quite extensively on my channel. As you guys know, he was found in somebody's living room, kind of locally, and made his way to me. This is actually our only native species of tarantula in Missouri. So I know I've talked about going to like try to find them and I've kind of looked here and there but an old high school friend of mine Peter is actually really great at finding them he told me he knew of a place and he was willing to take me there to show me where he finds them now I want to give a little disclaimer here if you know where this place is please do not leave it in the comments I do kind of have a concern that some people watching might see my video and think that they can go there and like take tarantulas and I just want to say if you want to get a tarantula go to a pet store not this place or a place like it <laughs> these were on a preservation so it's actually like illegal to go there and take tarantulas or any wildlife for that matter so I just want to like caution anybody watching if you know where this place is please do not comment it because I do not want people going and taking anything from it please also if you do try to go find tarantulas in the wild one thing that Peter was very adamant about is that if you flip a rock to flip it back over which he will talk more about that in the video so yeah let's go ahead and get right into all of that footage and then we will meet back here Essentially what you have is you have the uh, glades, which are across between a desert and a prairie. Then you have all the adjacent deciduous forests, and then you have streams and all that kind of stuff going through as well. Peter here. Yeah, so this is uh, what's called a dolomite glade. It's kind of like a cross between a desert and a prairie. There's a lot of exposed bedrock out here and a lot of animals like snakes and tarantulas and scorpions will live out here because the surface temps get so high and they can find their food and take shelter out here as well. Where we're gonna go is about a mile back to a southwest facing glade where the surface temps are gonna be the highest and there should be a lot of things like scorpions and tarantulas out on the surface today. Yay, I'm so excited. So it's to happen over. Oh, it's a cricket frog. <laughs> a frog? Guys. He's a little guy. Oh. Get to get trying to catch these little guys because they are impossible for the most part. Go back that way. Go back to where I can grab you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, he's gonna hop as soon as I open up here. So. Okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. That's a good start. Yeah. Bye, little guy. Oh, there's a wolf spider too right next to him. Oh, really? Yeah, big one. It's on the leaf. You will occasionally see poison ivy, so just kind of keep a lookout for that. I haven't had that since I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. now that we've all jinxed it, we're going to get it. Right. So. <laughs> Everybody's coming out. <laughs> Might be a skink. I don't really know. Oh, I see it. It's a fence swift. He's right over here on the tree. It's on the tree? female, yeah. Oh, it's not on the leaf. There she it's is. On the tree. Wow, that's really cool. And you, she, you think she's gravid? Yeah, yeah she's chomping. Yeah, she out. is. That's really cool. I think it's Scalopteris or Gelatus or something like that. I got a good shot of her. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, froggy. Yeah, oh, there's, there's frogs hopping all over the place. Right there. Oh, there's I'm... a little green frog right there. Oh, there's a crawfish. Yeah. There's a little crawfish down there. I don't know if you can see it. It looks just like the leaf it's next to. Yeah. And then there's a frog. Can I can I touch a crawfish or no? Yeah, you can touch them. What, can I pick them up? Uh, you gotta pinch them behind the back, like around the thorax area. If you can get them, they're very cool. Oh, quick. wow, he is really fast, Never mind. No, this red flower is called Indian paintbrush. Those are really cool. Yeah, those are really pretty. I love all the wild flowers. example of what we were talking about earlier this rock was completely flipped out of place you probably had tarantula scorpion snakes underneath here but once they flipped it out of place they destroyed the microhabitat and the plants they flipped it onto yeah that's too bad and got little beetles under there that's ants. probably an old black widow web right there there's some ants there like oh i same. really want to find a black widow i think we'll see one that'd be so cool so is this the best area for them 
Yeah, from my experience, uh, because the sun hits this area the most for the oh, longest yeah. period of time. See copperheads over here a bit? Yeah, there's a lot of those. Oh, great. This one was flipped out of place a long time ago, so it's already establishing a new microhabitat. Oh, there's one oh, that... that yeah. Yep. Did You'll see a lot of that. Or did they do it for poaching? Uh, poaching. Like, they'll come out here and they'll collect king snakes and uh, all that kind of stuff. But that's not legal on conservation, right? No, it's not. It's very illegal. That one was flipped out of place. That's why it's called poaching. Yeah, right. <laughs> yep. This is a snake. Somebody oh, flipped it, the rock on top of the snake and killed it. That's so sad. Yeah, you what gotta be real snake? careful. Oh, you can't even really tell, I guess. Oh, uh, it's a line snake. Oh. I'm scared to flip a rock because I don't want to get stung. Yeah. And also, I don't think I can do it. Well, there you go. Yep, mm -hmm. you're just kind of looking under there for anything that might be underneath, and that's all there is to it, really. And you just, you just replace it like you just did. Same right there. That's how you get stung a lot of times. Oh, wow. They just hang out on the underside of rocks like Oh that. my God, that's so cool. Eric, can I get my phone real quick? I want to take a picture. He's a moving. That's so cool. So what kind of scorpion is that? This is a striped bark scorpion. Oh, no, buddy. He's like, I don't want the sun right now. Yeah. It's like, I'm warming up, but I don't want to be in the sun. <laughs> that I think makes that oh, look, 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 look. What do you see? Oh, yeah, fence swift. Ah, I told I you we'd see more of those. That's a male. You see it had blue, on the blue yeah. yeah. Scorpion. Oh. Tell what the spider's next to it, but I see multiple legs. Oh. oh, cool. I don't know. It looks almost like a. I don't know if that's a spider. We're at down here, just right above the scorpion. I think that's like some kind of harvestman or something. Yeah, that's like what that. it looks okay. like to me, too. Yeah. Oh, there's a. What is that? Oh, and a centipede thing. Yeah, I don't know what kind of spider that is. Yeah, that's a weird looking one. Yeah. I got a skink over here. A skink! <laughs> yeah, he's right here. Oh, 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 he's gone. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cute. Western smooth earth snakes. Oh, that's so cool. Also, the ones that look like little worms. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So cute. This is a tarantula burrow, but it's old. It hasn't been used in a bit. It's a little baby tarantula. I hope it's still there. Ouch. I think it went into its burrow. No. Oh wow. That's really cool though to see its burrow. Yeah, there'll be more of them. Yeah, a baby too especially. That's awesome. That's what I like to see. There's a black widow. Ah, yay! <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, see the little red spot? Black spider wow. red spot. Wow. Black Widow. Oh my god, that is huge. Yeah, it's a really big one. Oh my god, she is freaking huge. Yeah. Holy smokes, dude. That is the biggest Black Widow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. That was a cute little snake. That's yeah. so pretty. Can I hold it? Yeah. Can I hold it too? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can I put it down? Or? Yeah, yeah. So we have found two black widows, two snakes, two scorpions, lots of ticks, lots of ticks. Mmm, I don't like ticks. Beetle. You gotta jump on oh, I lost a shoe, I don't care. Oh my god. Oh my god, where? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you for grabbing my shoe. <laughs> Nice flip. Oh my god, can I pick her up? Would yeah, you? yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of jumpy. Just... Good girl. Well, I mean, I probably just woke it up. <laughs> good, girl. good girl. Mission accomplished. Very good. Here, I'm going to set this down. That's fine. Uh, may, yeah, it we'll put her right back. Down. Look at this beautiful girl. This is a little juvenile. Eric, I can't believe you found this. It just looked like a good rock to flip, man. Yeah. It was big and didn't look disturbed. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. This is, oh my God. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just put her back on this rock. Wow. That's amazing. There's actually a molt under there. A molt? Yeah, it's an old one. You see that? Oh, I do. Yeah. Doesn't it flood a lot around here? Like. Uh, so because these glades are so rocky and they drain downhill so quick, it stays pretty dry for the most part. Wow, okay. 
Look at all you know, of this. What I really like about the Indian paintbrush is you'll get like orange ones and you'll get red ones. Sometimes you'll get yellow ones. Yeah, so pretty. I, I mean, everything out here is beautiful except the ticks. Yeah. I don't like the ticks. All right, another tarantula, you guys. Oh, I see her butt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Jesus. And they do get bigger than that. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. That's a female too. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture. I might be able to coax her out. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe let's not because sure, sure. I don't want to have to, you know, try to. I don't want her to get hurt. Yeah, that's fair. But she's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my God. Good find. Good find. Amazing. We got a scorpion. Harvestman. Harvestman. Where's the scorpions right here? Oh, I see a little guy. They like almost blend in. Crayfish buddies. I love crayfish. Oh my God, it's so cute. All right, guys, so yeah, this is a great example of where the habitat is for the Afono pilmahensi or the Missouri tarantula. All these like grass, like all this grass and all those rocks down there is where they like to live. And yeah, it's been a great experience. I definitely want to come back and hunt a little bit more. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you again, Peter, for coming with me and like showing me what to do and what to look for. We found so many animals. We were only there maybe like two hours tops and we came across all those animals and more. There were other things that like we kind of saw that crossed our path, but it was just like too quick for me to get it on film. But for the most part, I think I caught pretty much everything on film besides like a few, you know, frogs and lizards and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see another like it. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not. And you be. Don't forget I'm on Instagram, there's probably way too much. It's at trainings.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. I will also link Peter's Instagram down below. And let's get into the Patreon pack.